In this video, we're going to go over the quick difficulty page of Key Search. Um, if you haven't already, I suggest you watch the regular keyword research page tutorial. As the majority of the features you'll see on this page, we've already gone over in that video, so I'm not going to go over those again. I'm just going to go over what makes this page different and why you'd use it as opposed to the regular keyword research page. So uh, for the regular keyword research page, you would type in your um, seed keyword there, uh, search, and then it would uh, return a list of related keywords in the column over here. With the quick difficulty page, um, all this page does is check difficulty for um, the specific keywords that you search. So it's just a way to get uh, quick difficulty scores. So basically you could enter keywords uh, comma separated or you could click this here and enter them as a list. Um, so let's just search some. So if I put in dog bed and puppy bed, and then you could select the location. And if we click search, you'll see it'll go and get the difficulty for those two keywords there, um, just the ones we searched. So it's not returning a list of related keywords. So the purpose of this page is if you just wanted to check a keyword here or there without doing a full search of related keywords or if you had a list of keywords. If you needed to check more than this page allows, you can use the import list feature on the regular keyword research page. Um, but this is just to check some small lists for uh, difficulty of keywords um, that you might be a pain to keep searching and finding related keywords for on the other page. Um, other than that, it's got all the same features as the regular keyword research page. You could just save the keywords to a list. You could compare keywords. You could export. Um, you got your SERP suggestions there, your search trends, uh, deep analysis. So all of the things are um, pretty much the same as a regular keyword research page, but this will only check the difficulty for the keywords you're actually putting in. It won't return any related keywords. Um, so that's about it for the quick difficulty page, guys. Um, you could find the same feature for YouTube under the YouTube difficulty page. So they're the same things, except YouTube will do this for YouTube instead of Google. Um, okay, guys, I'll see you in the next video.